Hi there everyone, Amanda here. Um, thank you for tuning into my channel. And um, what I have for you today is a scrapbook paper haul video. I went to, or I participated in a, um, a crafting clutter sale um, last Saturday. And basically what it was is you have all your artists, your scrapbookers, um, your crafters of any kind, you rent a table and you sell your leftover or crafting supplies or things that you no longer will need. So I went and I sold some stuff there, but I also of course had to do a little bit of buying because hello, I am there to buy some, you know, stuff for less price and I got some really good deals. This first thing of paper and this does not have a brand to it. All of these here that I got do not have a brand. Now I can kind of pick some out and kind of assume what they are, but some of them I am not going to know the brand. Um, but these were, um, get ready for this, they were a penny a piece. So I had to get it. These were, these have some glitter and some raised dimension like enamel stuff to it. I love these buntings and I think I'm going to make some planner dividers out of this. Maybe I might just keep it for myself. And then the next one is a gold and silver sheet, which I think is beautiful. If I can show this to you. It, it, yeah, that might work because you can see the texture to the paper. It almost looks a little bit like tapestry. Um, these next few sheets there's there are a couple of repeats and they're cut apart pages this looks a lot to me like authentic but don't quote me on that because I'm not for a hundred percent sure but like if you look at this the printing here and if I can get this the Ferris wheel and the printing this looks like authentic to me and so these were um, also a penny and these are all little things to use for card making and stuff and I love them. Do not let anyone ever dull your sparkle. I think that needs to go on a planner dashboard. Might have to do that too. This next cut apart piece I thought would make great cards. And I cannot tell you um, whose this is. It looks a little bit like... I would say it looks a little bit like Echo Park or it could still be authentic because of the printing. And it also could be, um, gosh, it could be a million and one. But anyway, I like all the different elements and I think it'll be a good um, page for card making. These are just more of the other ones. And then I got some happy birthday pages. These are quite um, colorful with some metal. You can see it shining there. And cupcakes and packages. And what a deal for a penny a sheet, right? The bigger, the bigger expense is going to be my time, <laughs> I think, when I use it. But I like it nonetheless. This next pad of paper or thing was 20 sheets for $4. So what does that make it? 400 divided by 20 is about 20 cents a sheet. Um, I love this. This was what caught my eye was the dragonflies and the flowers, which are just gorgeous. The colors are just, just absolutely gorgeous. I think they might be a little paler in person, more softer than they appear on the camera, but they're just beautiful. And then the butterflies, also adorable. And I think these would make nice planner sets, actually. So there's that, the butterflies. Then we've got some, I don't know how to describe this, except to say, except to say that it's a floral print with some tiny flowers and just very um, calico type paper. So there's two of those sheets. 
This next sheet is from um, Crate Paper. I love Crate Paper. This Crate Paper is great if you're making um, books, like, hand, you know, like my mini scrapbooks and stuff. Crate Paper is awesome for that because it is very, you know, thick. It has a good texture. And a lot of times if you cut it like six by six size, you can just adhere the two pages back to back and the page is stiff enough. So I really like this. It says coordinating color on back. So this one is kind of like, it looks a little distressed or antiqued. And this is from the Blue Hill Collection Rain. And this other sheet here also goes with that. And it matches, it coordinates here. And it's also from the Blue Hill Collection Cloud. So these two right here will go together and I'll probably do something together with this, um, these two as a set. So you can see there's some um, cheaper pages and some um, cheaper papers and some more expensive papers, like the crepe paper is gonna be more expensive than these. These are just your general line of um, like Michael's stock paper. So really for $4, I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm saying it's still a decent price, but it wasn't quite as cheap as what you would expect to get, I guess, for um, at a craft sale that you're just trying to dump your stuff. Got some other more pages here. These are all the same. There's lots of duplicates. But anyway, I think still for 20 cents, this is um, not a bad deal per page, and I will get a lot of use out of it. I love the little um, violets here, the pink and the purple. And then this here just looks like a celebration explosion. So that's really pretty. And then we're coming down to the end of this package. This, I love this. It's very um, impressionistic, I would say. With And it kind of looks like it's got like some poppies, what are supposed to be poppies. There's a couple pages of this. And then we go right into the morning glories, which I love. I think they're beautiful. And then this last page, which is just some um, green flowers. It looks like there's a half page here. Wow. Okay. See, you never know what you might get. Actually, I think there might be more than 20 sheets here. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give that a thumbs up and that I got a good deal. Um, the last one I got at the craft sale was this pad of paper. This one was also $4. And the reason I got this is because it looked like it had some K and Company um, stuff in it that I have, that I've used pretty much all of, all of. And then some Tim Coffee K and Company. So um, let's dig in. We've got a little bit of a half page here. This, yep, see, K and Company, Brenda Walton. Do I know my pages or what? Well, sometimes. I didn't know some of them, but that is that. So I, what I love is there's always glitter and texture and all this different kind of stuff in um, K and Company paper, which I think is just beautiful. And they all can pretty much coordinate. This plaid is awesome. And these lines are raised, so there's texture here. And then we've got some open stock K and Company with the pink plaid. I use this um, thinner paper for divider tabs. So when I'm making um, planner dividers and stuff, I'll use a thinner page for the tabs sometimes. Because especially if I use the ones where I fold them and it looks like a double tab, I'll use the thinner paper. Here is some mint floral paper. And let's see, what's the next one? We've got some like peach dots that are beautiful, especially for a Swiss dot. And then coming up, it looks like we've got more texture paper, the plaid. And, ooh, this is pretty. This is gorgeous paper. This is also textural, texturalized. And it's raised up, and it is just absolutely gorgeous. 
I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but it would make a great cover for a mini album. That'd be beautiful. Um, another K and Company print. It's the same as that one. And then we've got some open stock paper to coordinate two sheets of those. And then let's see what else we've got here. Um, this is kind of like, Oh, we got lots and lots of that color paper, the plaid. And then this is more of, it almost reminds me of an Argyle, but it doesn't, it's not the diamonds, but it's just, a just a different kind of design. I'm not sure how to describe that one. And then we have some floral open stock. Again, I might use those for tabs. Same with these. Because I love these for tabs because it gives a little bit of decoration without adding a lot of um, thickness. This is very wedding-ish. It looks like it has these birds and flowers there. And then this is one of my all-time favorite pages from Can Company. I do have this. I've used this before. And um, I really, really love it. So what I've done with this before is cut out the flowers and use them as embellishments. So that's pretty. We've got some more open stock. It looks like the rest of this is open stock. And when I say open stock, I mean just like it's the thinner paper that you can get at Michael's for like five for a dollar when it's on sale, that kind of stuff. So anyway, that was all from um, four. All, all of this was four dollars plus um, and then all of this was four dollars. So I got all that paper for eight dollars and then this here, I think, was about 30 cents. Okay, so this is all the paper here together, and I think for two to, uh, for less than $9, I got a pretty good deal. So anyway, thank you very much for watching my channel. Um, I hope you found something you liked and that you'll come back. Um, have a good day, you guys, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.